Cora and I are out at the bee yard today. Uh, I think actual temperature at four o'clock on our way home was a hundred according to my truck. Now we've been dealing with anywhere from 98 to 104 actual temps here in central Arkansas. Uh, Cora's bees have made honey we have been without nectar flow for a solid two weeks. Uh, what happens typically is, is these bees are gonna start feeding off of their stores, which means we'd be losing honey if we don't go ahead and, and get started pulling honey. Uh, it's hot. So as you see, it's bare bones minimum. Uh, Core is gonna do all the rough stuff and uh, we are not gonna run a smoker today. As you can tell, we got fresh cut hay field. The hay was cured. They just finished baling it today. The grass is brown. It just crunches under your feet. So safety first. If I get stung up, I get stung up. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm gonna let Cora try to control these bees. She said they're the best bees on the place. Don't worry about it, Dad. Uh, I think y'all kind of know the routine. We're just kind of gonna go through it, fume board, uh, spray to move the bees. Core is going to gently take off the top of the inner cover. We're going to put the fume board down. We'll set the timer and uh, we're going to remove this box of honey. Then we're going to go to the anel hive and see if she's really got three supers of honey up there. So I hope it's cool where you're watching this. Y'all kick back and enjoy it and we're going to roll that beautiful bee footage. And after that, we're going to roll that liquid gold honey out of that extractor, we hope. You got anything you want to add? Huh? Nope. Sitting on a gold mine? <laughs> Let's find out. I'm going to prep your board. You gently start getting them opened up and expose the, the bees in the frames. <clears throat> I got into some fire ants. <clears throat> Today they propolis the lid. Work it loose. Grab that far corner and this corner up here and kind of twist. won't admit to it, but she hasn't felt well the last two or three days, and I think she's kind of running low on strength, which I understand why they do have that dude raise it that way, and if they're wanting to go, let them go that out the front. There's one I had immediately killed, but got you have too. What does it look like in there? Do you need to set that it's down, stand, standing up against the lid? 
I heard you say something. What were you talking about? The honey's cap. The honey's cap. Well, it's after this friend. Does that count? Ooh, wee. They did the deal, didn't they? Yep. All right, are you ready to... Uh, we'll show them that beautiful cap, honey, here in a minute. You want to raise one or just let's just fume them down and we'll yeah. check it later. Okay. It's fumed up and ready. Just square that up over top of them. Oh, I heard them rev up. Boy, they, they, they want to go when they get that on them, don't they? Yeah. Do we have a timer? Can you hear the increase on the on the volume? Yeah. Yeah, Well, luckily that it the the cloud covers got the bees. They're still working. Maybe carrying water, but they're still in and out there. At least they're not all piled up out here on the front of the hive like mine. Is it ten minutes? Ten minutes. Tell you what we could do. By the time we run up to the anel, mm -hmm. set a fume board on them yeah. we'll be getting close to needing to be able to come back and pull this one off and vice versa okay. what do you think all right Sounds good. all right let's roll i got another fume board i got our spray Look to me like there's quite a load of honey in that one. I'll, <clears throat> I'll move your block for you. Okay. Yeah, Mama, don't trip over a rock. Okay, now remember, all you got is the top and the mat. And it's B action exposed. Can you get Cora a step ladder there? Cora's, Cora's in good shape. Flip that up over you. Block down here. Is that propolis all I'm seeing in the mat? Let me take it for you. Can you look down in it? Mama, can you get a... I can smell. Can you smell that honey coming through that mat? Yeah. All right, well, you may have to kind of scrape it up. Now, give me just a minute, y'all. Hang out and discuss what's happening. Look at them. Yeah. Stinking ant. Come up through there. You want me to take the mat off? You know, I've never been able to prove whether it will. Whether it's not some ants cause anybody any problem. But they sure do seem to me like they allow them to spend a lot of time with them. Yeah. You know they're in there stealing honey. Anything down in there look like capped honey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Steam boards here behind you. How's it looking in there? I've got to look. I can't stand it. Woo! You can smell it. Mm hmm. Okay. 
Which fume board do you think works better? Well, the new or old? I think that, personal opinion, I think that new solar lid. Ooh, hear them rev up. Yeah. Probably works better when it's cloudy like this, but you know how everything we do, when we get time to do it, we can't, we can't control. I can tell you what, I feel a whole lot better about it being cloudy. Yeah. Uh, personally, you can hear them bees' attitude changing right now. They're going to be moving down. Well, they just moved to this part. You know, I... Of course, if the sun was really beating on that and really making the, that that spray go to a fume, it you know I've had them push down, push down out of a deep, push plumb down and be hanging off the board. Uh, different circumstances every time. We got fresh spray this this season. Uh, I could have used that that we've been using for two years, but I, I think it kind of loses its potency after a while. Yep. Uh, so. You can tell by the way they react when we immediately drop that on there. Mm -hmm. It's pushing them. They don't like it. So we just have to do this two right. more times on the side. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put a couple of these. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a couple of these hot bricks. We're at six minutes on the first hive. Talk to folks a little bit about your a nail. Now they saw the last post that I showed you about okay. me. Showing the, the, the bearding. Um, tell them a little bit about how you feel about it. Uh, I mean, you've been in charge. I do think um, it vents better to where how they haven't been bearding as much. So I think they're getting more airflow. Uh, and you think the insulation, the insulated walls adds to that too? It's got yeah. to. It's got to. And you're not on a, uh, I think somebody on the, on the channel asked if that was a vented bottom board. And it is, right? Yes, it has the, it's kind of like this okay. on the bottom. Not a, a, bees can't go through it. Mm -mm. Okay. So it is vented. Yes. Um, so they in this particular, but you're running 10 frames full. Yes. Okay. Uh, What's your queen exclusion there? This one? Yeah. Uh, it's is, it just a, is it a standard metal? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, they've had no problem working through that since mm -hmm. we put it on. Uh, it has the exact dimensions. It works on works the plastic. Works on the nail. Works on your nail just like it mm -hmm. does on the, on the wooden super. So, that's yeah, great. All right, we're probably seven-ish minutes on the super down there. Um, let's jump in the buggy. We'll make a lap, get a little airflow. I've, I've got me a little sweat going now. Um, by the time we get down there and rearrange and get ready to pull the super and set it on, we're going to pull the queen excluder off. And I think while we're there, we'd better go ahead and just check stores mm -hmm. in their medium super. Um, the last thing we want to do is take honey and assume right now that they've got plenty for winter. Because yeah. if it don't go to raining and we don't get a fall flow, they're not going to put honey up. It's just honey coming out. Yeah. So... We may end up, well, we know we're going to feed them. They're going to need a little feed yeah. after this. Right. Oh, we also want to hit them with some uh, DFM when we get all this squared away. We're at nine minutes. Okay, let's roll. Can you leave the fume board on for too long? I think you can. Kristen, have you just taken over? What are you doing, drilling in the seat? Golly, dog. I think if I was you, I'd go to the shade. It's gonna be bad. We gotta lump all that honey.
got a high poo? Good job. Yeah, they coming out of there now. Can we do it up here? Grand, have we hit 10 for sure? Yes. Above. What? Above the queen's quarter. Yep. Is it good? Okay, yeah, just get each corner. You want me to get the others? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, I bet I can twist it off of here with three corners. You ready? Yep. Can we get the other one? There's a lot of bees in there, Cor. We'll let that set just a little bit longer, but they're, co they're coming on out now. Uh, go ahead and pull your coin exploder. as far as they do have some honey looks like one two three four five cap frames cap five cap and then i think they have some honey in the color oh look the like they product. got everything but that last one you know what i'd do what? it won't matter we'll leave that empty one because okay. all these are full and i bet it's got nectar in it but if they've been eating on that one we will uh, keep it there. Did you feel that? What is that? It looks to me like that sack still pumping. I never even felt it. I don't know if that's good or bad. Make sure you get your stinger out. Get the stinger out. out. On the top of your finger. Yeah. Uh, drag your pro propolis. Look at that. Drag your propolis down. Okay. What do you think they're letting him hang out for? Because times are still pretty good. <laughs> There's all these drones on the ground. Yeah. Look at them all on the on the grass. Well, them drones are drunk, I guess. That's what they act like. they get like way too much air, yes, clean the front, on the hole. clean the front and work your inner board back on. Okay. I better take that, that with me in case we don't start the problem. So we won't put that back on, right? Nope. That fume board got hot enough before you put it on there? I don't. 
I really think that it's this cloud cover. Look underneath it. What do you got? You button them up? Yep. They good? Yeah. Alright, set your bricks like we know we know that I mean it's okay, but turn your front one straight out and your back one. There you go. Alright, don't step in all them bees. Okay, we're gonna leave that note and we'll make a lap right around going back and get rid of some more of these bees. Okay. If it's been 10 minutes or longer, we'll see what we got there. Ooh, big, <laughs> you them old supers of mine, see the corner want to break down on that? Yeah. Well, it's okay, they're getting so old. They... You didn't even get it. Right you think that's it? <laughs> started eating this or this is the yeah. one I put in the middle of them mm -hmm. and the nectar flow shut down because it looks like they have maybe one frame of well it's not capped but they have been working right. on this right. can I so. intervene a moment yep It's got a little nectar. Okay, well let's. This uh, one's capped. Yeah, let's take that one. A little nectar. Cap. Go ahead and put the board over that one. Okay. Have you sprayed it? Does it need to be sprayed, Daddy? Yeah, get ready. Just say they're some drunk, they don't know exactly where they're supposed to go or what they're supposed to do. Sunlight would have helped us, Cora, but so are we just gonna put that one this super back on? Uh, take you out to them, the ones that's got comb on it, pull them out and see if they're uh, got nectar in them. Yeah, our fume just dead and getting it done, Cor. 
Just not driving them. together okay. that's the only one so what they done is they stored my checkerboarding didn't they your checkerboarding yes. what's that be on your toes okay. did you check these no you want to check those real quick yeah we'll go ahead and put it back I on i bet they've been we'll put this one back on for overage yeah. okay So they just started eating that one? Well, they definitely didn't have enough nectar coming in mm -hmm. to do anything other than what was drawn. Because we did put And I'd that. say since it's not capped sitting between there, mm -hmm. that yeah. Because we put that third super on uh, after the nectar flow, right? Oh, yeah. Right we were hoping they were going to get a full three. And I really thought they had it. But, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Cora, what's Josie tell us? You get, you get, you don't throw a fit. That's right. <laughs> you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Something to live by, right? Yep. We have to. Thank you. I got to look at this. Is that the one that we just took off? So this was the top super. Uh, yes. This, so were they eating part of that or just haven't capped it? They just hadn't capped it. So that will, okay. will absorb like the others? Mm -hmm. so it's we, finished. I'm certain of that. They so just, we still do this one? This smells good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Our nectar flow was just... It was a great one while it lasted. The problem was it wasn't but about three weeks and they did all they could do. All right, we'll put that in. We'll take off and drive and give these some oxygen and they'll they'll fly. Okay. Then by the time we're, we've done that, we'll come back and pull that last one You think one the fume borers uh, stayed on long enough? Mm -hmm. You think the fume board stayed on long enough? Well, the way they're the way they're acting, I'm not certain that it's making making much time difference on. See what I did there? Now that's probably going to yeah. get hot and slide. But I went ahead and put it there, and maybe it'll go ahead and drive them out of that till we can get them come back and get this Ooh, I one. I feel we'll, a breeze blowing. We'll set them that them four or five frames of nectar back up on top. Look, you're suited up. No worries. Or do you feel that breeze blowing through your jacket? Yeah. All right, we'll run around back. And... How much time we got, Mom? Been on five minutes.
I think we're dealing this late in the evening. I've never pulled honey, to be honest with you, this late in the afternoon, unless I just get got caught running late. But we're dealing with a lot of extra bees, I'm sure. You know, prime time to me is about 10 till two to have it off. Mm -hmm. Most of your bees are out not active back at the hive anyway. But think how nice it'll be when you're sitting under a fan putting this in a bottle. Yep. You'll make sure she's up. She's together. Hey, what is, what is it now? What did you decide? I'm between. What are you going to? What are you going to call your honey? I'm the same between two. Oh, let's hear it. Either it's chorus fantastic honey or chorus spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it tastes so good it'll be spectacular. That's my vote. Spectacular. Chorus spectacular honey. Hmm. Sounds good already, don't it? <laughs> yeah. You know, as as beekeepers and young upcoming beekeepers and old beekeepers and all the beekeepers in the world that put up honey, you can attest to the fact this is work. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, you we we're gonna start in Sometimes February doing things. Checking, you know, it's all weather dependent. I think everybody understands that. But we yeah. start in, in February looking and, and, you know, preparing to split. Mm -hmm. Adding boxes. Get our splits done. We're feeding bees. We feed bees up big enough where we got big colonies. And we're hoping for this big monster nectar flow. And we're adding boxes. And they're pulling comb. And we just keep stacking and you don't know when to stop. It's just like your bees up here. Mm -hmm. They immediately fill a super. We added another one, which is the one that's gonna come off. They filled mm -hmm. it. They're still in a flow, right? Yeah. What do you do? You just, okay, well, we'll just stop. No, you gotta try to get all you can get. Mm -hmm. So we went up and we, we, we drug one off the top Put one in the middle and drop the heavy on top of it. So that's what where we're at. You know, you get the top one off, it's full of honey. And then you said, well, Daddy, it looks like we're going to have to leave this one. Well, yeah, the honey's there. It's not capped, and they didn't draw any more comb. Mm -hmm. But at least... Signs of nectar flow stop. Yeah. No comb. Mm -hmm. Will so. they be able to use that for winter, though? They're going to utilize that honey. We're going to set it above that queen excluder. Mm -hmm. You know, they might be, they might cap it. They might, it might go to rain and we get enough nectar started again for the fall flow mm -hmm. that they, that they start in I filling it. And we that pull ball. the queen excluder and just drop it on them and let them eat that fall goldenrod honey. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just ensuring that, that they've got extra feed. And they're getting the nectar from the garden, from watermelons. Yeah, pumpkins. watermelons, pumpkins, cucumbers, but you know, even squash. though we're pretty impressed with how many plants we got, they need this whole yeah. bottom full of watermelons. Then they get enough nectar to produce honey. Yeah, they get nectar and they store it and it's honey, but it's not boxes yeah. full of honey. Look at that one trying to get in. Mm. You don't think she's <laughs> trying to get in or trying to tell them other ones to get out. Uh -huh. All right, girl, come on. Problem is, see, now when you uncork them, they want to, uh, these other bees want to fly back in there. You know, really, that's probably a good way to get stung.
All right, Mom. 12 minutes. 14 oh, yeah. Minutes. <laughs> All right, Cor. We'll go see if it made any difference. Do right there, real quick. Look at him hanging out now on the front. Let's push them down now, Han. Where are you going? Huh? <laughs> she said she's gonna walk around the other way. Well, there's we Chaco. I only did two. Have you got it broke loose? I only did those two sides. You got it? Yeah. Okay. You got your mat ready to roll. Oh, that kept them out of it, didn't it? Yeah. There wasn't none in there. Does this go on a certain way? Hmm? No. So this one. I believe that be quick pushed him down then. How long do we leave them on here for? We get all these caps open and let all that fume come out while they're in there. What'd you, what'd you ask me? Uh, how long did it them on? Uh, now that time, now I haven't checked the super we pulled off, but that board was sitting over it with that sunshine. <coughs> and I they were not going in there. I believe you got were... more going in right here. Oh no. All right, Cora, let's roll. We got to get that away from it. We going back to the back or what? Oh, it's on, always buddy. right here.
little set of fume board out there on the trailer. Uh, big they what? Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, they'd be fine. They just liquor up, they can't move. Take them out there and set them where they can get air. Okay. Oh yeah, they've ever been <coughs> they've ever been a sixty pounds there, corn. Hanging down there behind the foil. Yeah, of course, good help even when she don't feel good, no? Mm -hmm. She is good help. Pistol's about to get himself stung. He's... Pistol will not be happy until he gets stung. Telling you, buddy, they're gonna light you up here in a minute. Well, will help. <laughs> All right, this is cool right here, folks. If y'all don't have one of these, this is a hive carrier. The way it works, it works like a, a can lever. So when you when you go over the lid on the hive or the stack of honey. You work your way down here to the bottom handle. Corey, can you hold that side? This side? Yep, just hold that end up. You it work it down high. there to the to the bottom handle. I think you're gonna have to go to the second one. It won't it won't push down so up against too low on the deal. Okay. Now always remember when you're using these you're locked into those handle holes. If we didn't have this ratchet on here, we're gonna take the top two boxes off and go leave the bottom box sitting there. That's why you ratchet the bundle together so that we can get these all together. One pull and we can carry it all. Are you gonna be able to lift that? Pick up on it. Flex them muscles, heave hold. Do I do up or down? We'll have whatever comfort. Ready, go. Oh, you could too do it. But when we get it out there, it's going to be a different yeah. story because you just picked up half. Trade places with Mama and let's set it out of the out of the machine and shoot the bees off of it. Now just carry it right out here. Once that carrier's locked in, it does a pretty good job. It'll take a it'll take a lick to get it to, to let go. All right, hand mama back the deal. And let's tell them how much we appreciate them watching. So I don't know what time it is. But you know, it took at least 10 minutes to get each super off more than that because we run them down the road, get the bees out of them, uh, cool off a little bit. We're taking our time. We're not getting in a, a big blowed up deal. This is all we're gonna do today is quarters hives. Uh, we're gonna pick this up, carry it inside, uh, eat some supper. And it's so hot in the shop now this honey will flow when we spin it. We think we'll just uncap it and spin it tonight. We'll film that and show you. Uh, I always enjoy getting out here with, with my family and, and pulling honey. Uh, it's something that we do each year. We can make it a job or we can enjoy it. Uh, don't make it a job. It's hot. Be careful when you pull your honey. I hope you're having a great honey season. And until we see you again. Roll that beef footage. Thanks for watching. Thank you.